Okay, today we're going to be using Windows Movie Maker 2.6. This is a Windows 8.1 computer, but we downloaded the older version of Windows Movie Maker and installed it. And you can do that too on Windows 7 or Windows 8. 2.6 came with Vista, but it will work on other versions of Windows 2. We'll put the link below the video. What we want to do is to have a video play, put a picture inside the video and have the sound continue through while the picture is on the screen. The first step to do this is to get the um, timeline showing down here. Now you can show a storyboard which is virtually impossible to work with or you can show timeline. That's what we want, timeline. Now down here in the bottom, see where it says video here? We want to click that plus sign. Now the reason we want to do that is it's, it expands the video track into two pieces. Actually three, audio, transition, and video. But it also adds another music track down here, or audio track down here. Um, maybe that's still there. All right, so this is all three. This is three separate ones. Anyway, let's drag this standard Windows video down here onto the timeline. Let's spread it out a bit by going uh, like that. We'll play it for a bit. Pause it. We're going to put, split it into two pieces here. We're going to play it again for just a second. And then we're going to split that clip. So right now we've got three video clips, video and audio clips, but we, we want to get out get rid of this middle one so we're going to delete it. In that section there we want to put this picture. It could be any picture or it even could be another video clip. Now what we what what you hear listen no sound and then all of a sudden there will be sound again. We want sound all the way through. So we have this same piece of video here and we're going to drag it down right here to where, where it says audio and music. And we're going to drag it down there and put it right at the same. We're actually we're going to move it just a little bit to the left. Now Windows sees this particular video as audio. It doesn't see it as a video. It, see, it only sees one video track and right now there's two audio tracks. Now, if we play this as it is now, we're just hearing this one. We will soon hear two. Okay, we don't want to hear two. So this particular track, we're going to mute. This particular track, we're going to mute also. This one is the one we want to hear. So we're not going to mute it. We're just going to check the volume. There we go. We got the volume okay. So now when we play this video, this is the only track we hear. All right. Now, over here on the bottom, you'll see that the two don't link up. This bottom track will end before the top one does. So what we want to do is make this picture last as long as the piece that we took out. And we're going to drag it over like that and we're going to drag it over some more there now they line up so everything this picture will last exactly as long as the piece of uh, <coughs> video we took out excuse me and we'll play it again it's all great now so that's how you do it that's how you can have two pieces of sound one or two video uh, pictures or video whatever are here and they link up and but you only hear one sound throughout the whole thing all right so we will put the link below the video and it's uh, computers made simple over and out thanks for watching